All right, we're back here, part 11. Uh, I've been away for a while. I'm sorry for that. I was uh, actually sick for about two weeks, and I've been very, 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 very sick. I didn't like it. So we're back here, part 11. We're in the basement here, and uh, I kind of forgot what we were doing here because I haven't played it in forever. But uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, there's a dude right there. Okay, come on. You should search this area carefully for any technical documentation or pre-war artifacts. Oh. No, 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 Okay, okay, okay. That's good. We killed the guy with the rocket launcher, which we needed to do that because uh, he's dangerous. Very, very, very dangerous. Very, do oh, God. Oh, God, oh, God. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. So, why I've, while I've been away, um, I've gotten a couple more views, and I hope it keeps growing, and thanks for the people who are watching, and um, thank you for liking, and subscribing. I've got a couple su more subscribers since the last time I made a video, which is good. Which, at this point, I'm not doing it full-time because I have to go to school. I'm full-time student and I'm still in high school, as you may know from my first video where I said I was. And I'm also going to be cutting down my videos, which I don't really... I mean, I don't like to do that. Uh, because it kind of seems kind of short, but it means I get to make more videos, and um, Anything useful. it means that more videos I get out. Ooh, and I'll be able to make more videos and stuff. Although they will be shorter, but hopefully that doesn't matter. <laughs> hopefully it doesn't. Let's see. Let's see. Look at our quest here. Um, secure Fort Strong Armory. Okay, we might need to go back up. Let's see here. All right. Um, so I hope everybody's been great uh, for the viewers that have watched my videos, and I hope everybody's doing fine and everything. Uh, what, what's happened lately? I don't even know what's happened. Like, I don't. I just don't know. <laughs> I mean, you know, Far Cry Primal. Uh, that looks like a cool game. I saw uh, they made a new commercial or new um, video showing that game off. Which I believe I'll be playing that game because that game looks amazing. And although this this is probably the best game, this for some reason I don't know why this game didn't win Game of the Year. I get, I, don't, I don't know how that works, but this game really should have won Game of the Year. It's better than Star Wars, which I love Star Wars. It's just this game has so much stuff in it that it deserves no less than Game of the Year. Oh, okay, so we got to clear out the rest of these um, Super Mutants. We're in the Fort Strong, I think. Fort something. Something like that. I don't, I don't remember the name of this base. Hey, buddy. How's it going? You're dead. You must hate these mutants as much as I do. Well, I, I mean, you know, hey. Yeah. Absolutely. Wiping them out was a pleasure. I wish all of mankind shared your sentiment. These monstrosities are just another example of man blindly taking a step forward only to wind up stumbling two steps back. I've been fighting for years, trying to put a stop to this madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, along come the synths. I've seen what these super mutants do to people. Can you imagine what the synths would do to us if they ever got the upper hand? It would be Armageddon repeated, and maybe the end of everything that we hold dear. Look, I don't mean to bore you with my rhetoric. I just want you to understand how important these missions are. Yeah, uh, don't be sorry, Paladin Dance. It's, I hate super mutants. Don't apologize. It reminds me why I'm doing this. Thank you, brother. It's good to know you're taking my advice to heart. Anyway, that's enough of that. What's important here is that you got the job done and secured these warheads. You should head back up to the Pridwin and talk to Maxon. I'm sure he'll want to debrief you as soon as possible. Dismissed. So as you may remember, I have I did wreck my car on Christmas break. And I've been looking for and around for a new car, and I believe I'll be getting one. I found a car. It's, uh, it's a 26-year-old car, but, you know, hey, antique, right? It's amazing. It's a good car. Sounds good. It's fast. At least it was fast back then. I wouldn't call it fast now. It's 
It's nothing to be ashamed of. I'm proud of the stuff I have, especially when I pay for it and I work for it. So, other than that, I, I, I've been sick, pretty much. That's what's been going on with me. <laughs> so, we're coming out of here, Fort, Fort Strong. Yeah, I was right, Fort Strong. I guess we need to go back to the Prid one. Um, ooh, that's pretty. Okay, let's go back to the Prid one. I'm definitely not walking back up there. I'm definitely going to, uh, whatchamacallit, fast travel, as people would say, fast travel. Um, great. Uh, originally, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts State became known as the Commonwealth after the Great War of 27-7. Uh, Paul Revere, right? He's cool. That dude's cool. Here, British are coming. The British are coming. I remember in Assassin's Creed 3, you like you rode him around and he said it. Which I thought that was kind of funny, but stupid at the same time. Because I don't know if that actually happened. Oh, like a person I drove or rode a horse with Paul Revere. <laughs> but from what I remember... Off of Assassin's Creed 3, that's how it went down. Because, you know, everything on Assassin's Creed 3 is true, right? Right. All right, Paladin and Dance, hey, buddy. How's it going? Oh, you look. Mmm, look at that minigun. You got a nice minigun there. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you might be able to tell I'm a little sick here. Um, let's do sarcastic. Eh, it was a piece of cake. I'm glad you feel that way. Because it only gets more difficult from here. In order to bring the Institute to its knees, we need to use every weapon at our disposal. I try to supply my soldiers with the best. That's why I'm giving you these. Signal grenades can call a vertebrate to your location when you need aerial transport. Simply throw one to the ground, and the vertebrate will hone in on the unique electromagnetic smoke it emits. Once you're aboard, use the map on your pit boy to interface with the pilot's navigation system, so he'll be able to take you wherever you need. Thank you, Elder. I'll make good use of them. I expect that you will. Now, I'm sure you're aware that Fort Strong was simply the first step towards the liberation of the Commonwealth. An even greater task lies ahead. By now, I'm sure you've deduced that our arrival in the Commonwealth wasn't coincidental. We're here because of a unique energy reading recorded by Paladin Dance's recon team. According to our scribes, the reading indicated a level of technology that only the Institute could achieve. The moment this information came to light, our mission became clear. The Institute, and everyone responsible for the creation of the Synths, must be eliminated at all costs. To accomplish this goal, we need to locate the Institute's headquarters. I've had our scribes meticulously searching the Commonwealth, but they've come up empty-handed. Sorry about that, I was just in my mic. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Um, let's see. Underground? I bet it's underground. Uh -huh. I know it's underground. Sounds like you're gonna have me crawling through the sewers now. It could be the sewers, the transit tunnels, or maybe an old vault. We just don't have enough information right now. I want you to get out there and become our eyes and ears on the ground. You seem to have a vested interest in locating the Institute before we met, so I'm confident you'll travel in the right circles. If you discover a way in, I need you to report it to me immediately. Any questions, Knight? Nope. Not right now, Elder. Very well, then. Dismissed. All right. Okay, so uh, let's see. Um, data. Well, I guess we got to go back to Piper. So at this point, we're done with the Brotherhood. So I'm gonna tell Paladin. Where's Paladin Dance at? Where did he go? I think I had some stuff that I wanted. I think he had some stuff. Ballad and dance. Oh, no, that's not you. Where are... Oh my God. I give up. I, I just, you know... I quit. I'm, I'm done with this game. I, I mean, like, who does that? Where is he? I think he's on the print one, but I have no idea where. Oh, that's a nice magazine. $35. Oh, that's how much my Star Wars um, Entertainment Monthly, I think, costs. It was $15. I was like, what? That it's expensive for a magazine. But I guess it's a cool, so called quotations collector's item, which I guess is cool. It might be worth something later in the future, but I have no idea. 
In my last couple of videos, I had Piper as my companion. I like Piper. She's cool. So uh, I believe I'll make her my companion again. Mm -hmm. I think I'll make her my companion again, so we can, so we can have fun in the wasteland of the Commonwealth. Nikki Valentine walks into my office for a change. What can I say, Piper? You, me, and hard luck all seem to run together like acid rain down an old sewer. You, uh, including your client, here in that analogy. So, thank you for finally letting me in on this little case of yours. What's the story? We need help, pretty much. We need help, Piper. This man named Kellogg kidnapped my son. But that wasn't all. He was working with the Institute. He... He gave them Sean. The Institute. Mm. Oh boy. Oh. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. What about him? He had to have a way in and out. But, well, we both know that angle is cut off. Because he's dead. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. <laughs> Doesn't matter what he knew. I'd kill him again in a heartbeat. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari. The mind behind the memories. It'd be cool if um, Bethesda did a DLC for that where you could like relive old um, memories like before the war. I hope you're right, Nick. Let's see. I guess we're going to need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. If you want to head there together, just say so. I'm going to take Piper. I'll head out with Piper. We'll meet you there, Nick. Sounds good. You two stay out of trouble. Don't worry. We're going to get your boy back. Just a few more steps. Thanks, Nick. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> Thanks, man. All right. Come on, Piper. Hey. What you got for me? Let's go. Let's go, Piper. Okay, um, I'm not crying in real life. I hope you know that. Because I'm. Oh. I hate when I have so much. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Okay, so. I guess we're going to Good Neighbor. But I am going to end the video here in just a little bit. In about 30 seconds. So we're just going to walk around. We might get a haircut. No, we're going to get our beard shaved because I shaved my face. Scav special. little flex of blood. Give it the personal touch. You should think about getting a trip. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cut. All right. Take a seat. Okay. All right. I wonder if I can shave my face here. No. Uh, yep. Okay. Uh, let's do the lazy morning. 
if it would, you know, just do it. Okay, mm yep, that's it. This one I got right now. Done. All right, we're done. Yes. All right, so I'm gonna end the video right here. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. Thanks for watching. Um, comment, and of course, rate. If you didn't like it, give it a dislike. If you liked it, liked it. You know the thing to do. Um, thank you for watching, and uh, have a good day.